Uh, it's the end of day 50 and I've arrived in uh, Anchorage, Alaska. So uh, the guys from Men's Aviation have helped out hugely again with the logistics. Uh, There's Mike, who's been really uh, at the heart of all the logistics planning for the entire world route. Uh, but over and above that, this is his stage. So Mike's team leader from here on in. Can't wait. Yeah. Very fresh and warm. <laughs> um, yeah, no, exciting to be up here. We've got a, a stripped down team. It's a smaller team, of course. We needed a few more people on leg two because it was a bit more complicated with jumping ahead to New Zealand and getting other vehicles set up in different countries and whatnot. But um, apparently our motorhomes are pretty luxurious. We're going to live in comfort. Um, well, we are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, I feel relatively good. I um, slept for about six, seven hours on the first flight up to San Francisco um, and I tried not to sleep on that second flight, which was really hard to do, but to minimize jet lag, now that it's what, nine, half past nine at night, um, I want to go straight into a, you know, a, a normal night's sleep, like five hours and um, be on the bike at four o'clock in the morning. So that's the plan, start leg three, and it should, if all goes to plan, take 22, 23 days to get across the East Coast.